So I've had this amygdaloidal basalt, and I'm trying to figure out whether this is Thompsonite or Datalite, and I really actually, I've been saying Datalite, but I am more leaning towards Thompsonite or Thompsonite these days. Anyway, I want to cut this baby open and see what it looks like on the inside, so let's do it. Holy smokes, it turned out phenomenal but I'm gonna so make you wait because I'm gonna cut some more I'm gonna see what these like look like in the inside too oh my gosh these are awesome let's find out what's inside these two. Oh my goodness guys this stuff turned out so cool I have to admit after I got done cutting these ones open I had a moment still, some free time still, and I took off to Annapolis where I found most of this to get me some more. And I came back with this specimen as well to cut up. And um, I will also have a hunting video shortly coming out um, of that little hunt that I did to find that. But I, I just, I had to go get more guys because this stuff was so so cool now i will try to go through this quick i'm going to go through these first three really quickly and i'm going to save the best two for last sorry <laughs> but here let me get through this see that from the outside these ones oh that one broke too while i was cutting it very weathered material that turned out pretty cool like it not a whole lot to it just uh, and I'm not even sure if this is Thompsonite might be just calcite filled but uh, that one still looks pretty cool open and then here we got this one obviously another one just filled with zeolites This is actually rhyolite, not basalt. I'm not 100, but oh boy, it is just nonetheless really cool. But I don't think that um, the host rock will take a shine, so I'm not 100 whether I'm going to shine it, but still pretty cool as a specimen. And then got this one here for you. Had some had some bigger. Um, specimens on the outside so I was hoping once I cut it open there was some big ones in there but uh, wow <laughs> only that one right there I'm just gonna show you this side here but it's pretty cool look at I'd be way sick if those were all agates <laughs> like agate dads he's the one that inspired me to come out here and cut these after seeing his galaxy stone. I love it. <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh, if that's how cool it looks, let me do it. <laughs> I gotta see what mine looks like. So anyway, that one was a pretty cool one too. And then I, like I said, I went, I had to go hunt some more of this stuff down. And I'm only gonna show you one side too, but this one, was a pretty promising piece that I found. Lots of, lots of zeolites filling this baby. And little pockets. Little pockets of crystals. These little holes with, with crystals inside. Ah, oh, I was like, let's do it. Let's check this out. This was so green too. Oh my gosh, I, I had to clean it first before I showed it off. But I went ahead and cut it. And boom. Not a whole lot going on, too much like the outside, but still wicked cool. Oh my gosh, even these little pockets on the inside, and these are all filled with little crystals. Filled with crystals. Really awesome. really cool piece. 
turned out pretty awesome. Let me see, I can't remember if the other side was it better or not. Oh yeah, not too bad. So we got same same kind of deal, pockets there. The little crystals and definitely, definitely see the lights in there. Cool piece on the outside too. Gosh, really cool specimens on the outside. Wicked, wicked. Oh man. But here's the bit. Here's the here's the special one. Here's my favorite. This is the bad boy. This one has the most pink coloration to it. And oh man, you guys, you're gonna love it. I know it. You're gonna love it. <laughs> cool, right? Okay. Let's not waste any more time. Check this out. <laughs> Oh my goodness sakes, I am in love. Oh what my gosh, am I in love with this. It is just stunning. And this is what, uh, is why, um, uh, this example right here is why I am now Squashing my first uh, conclusion of the identity of Datalite. And I'm dubbing this Thompsonite. I really do think that this is Thompsonite after seeing it <clears throat> from Agate Dad and him showing his great examples of it. I'm all, I mean, I'm, all, I'm almost positive. What do you guys think? I mean, is that not a great example of it or what? Oh my gosh. Just stunning. Stunning. Where's the other side? Get this other side. It's really pretty too. Oh my gosh. My camera just does not do this stuff justice whatsoever. Oh my goodness. Maybe I'll have to get a few close-ups with my other camera and throw it in here so you guys really can see the details of this it's just remarkable I could not be happier and I really want more pieces like this but uh, yeah just wanted to share share this with you because I was I just loved what Agate Dad did and I, I mean I was just inspired I had to show you but I did do a little bonus cut this is a I'll try to make it quicker this is a <clears throat> agate from my grandpa's collection to be honest I'm not 100% what kind of agate it is you can see there's little blades of crystal I'm not sure what it is if anyone knows please let me know you see that kind of reminds me of bar right but I'm not sure but anyway this is sick look <laughs> whoa is all I can say whoa look at that looks like a uh, Saginite to me. The sprays of right here it looks like Saginite. Oh my gosh, just beautiful. Here's the other side here. Oh my gosh. It's kind of a weathered piece. Kind of wanting to fall apart. It's really weathered on the outside, but I had to cut it open anyway just to see what it looked like. And man, I'm happy I did. That is so cool, even if I just polish this side right here. Come on. Look at that. How beautiful. If anyone has any idea, though, what kind of an agate this is, I would greatly appreciate any info that you have.
any info. My side's really dirty. Should have cleaned it off better, but yeah, beautiful. So there you have it, guys. Thanks again for coming along with me, checking out this awesome, awesome amygdaloidal basalt. Stay tuned for a little bit of a hunt for me finding this big one, and happy hunting out there.